And the 2020 season is underway. Kick goes into the end zone. C.J. Evans in the backfield. He's the true freshman. And right away, Oldsfall is going to keep it. Pitch it to Evans. Evans, a nice block outside. And Evans has room. C.J. Evans makes a guy miss. And you wanted college football. First play, touchdown, Governors. 75 yards. We have 7 nothing. Golick Jr. What a play here to begin. I incredible stuff, and we asked Tim Zetz, their offensive coordinator, would there be any hesitance to run Jeremiah Oatsfall, considering he was injured on a design QB run? You see the cutback in the open field by C.J. Evans here. And let's get a Central Arkansas going to go forward on fourth down, their first offensive possession of the game. Smith again forced to step out of the pocket. That incomplete in Austin P's defense holds Braylon Smith. Holds ball, ball out quick, ball falls incomplete. That intended for Garel Sumare. Snap over the head. Deej recovers it. And a costly error for the governor's special team. Pro sets, they've got a variety of in their arsenal on offense. Third and short, Crosley again tries to bounce outside. And a great effort by Austin Pease defense, tackled by Terrell Vassell. Arkansas is going to go for it on fourth down. Smith to throw. Forced out of the pocket, throws on the run, incomplete. Governor's hold. And you see the pressure forcing Braylon out to the right from Terrell Lucas. That and a quick handoff to Myers, who breaks it off the left side. In a big gain. Passes to get the confidence going. Again, Myers in the backfield. And again. This time, Smith takes it outside, pitches it to Myers. And that's going to be close. It is something he will never forget to build their relationship as they begin this season. Now third and nine for Smith. And again, he is forced to scramble. It is picked off. Jack McDonald intercepts it to start the second quarter for Austin P. Governor's ball. Huge. Braylon Smith told us that it changes a locker room and it's changed the locker room for good. His own ball goes up top and it's caught by Jordan Pollard. That catch from Pollard. Great concentration again. The hand fighting going on all day on the outside here. This time between DeAndre Lamont. 22 yard line for the Governors. That's Brian Sneed back in the backfield. And a nice cut outside for Sneed. And a hard run ball comes out, falls out of bounds. Now third and six. Sneed takes the ball off the left side and met immediately by Cameron Godfrey. Snap came clean, kick up and good as Austin P takes a 10-0 lead. Throws, I really think they're still trying to find that rhythm. So that was a loss of three for Myers, now second and three, and again, Five. Smith forced out of the pocket, completes the throw to Jack Short. And every bit of that is, again, he's played a lot of this game, forced out of the pocket from this Austin P defense, now third and 10. Smith able to stay in the pocket there, and a good throw over the middle to Hudson. That'll be enough for the first down. They lean on him up front with Cameron Myers. Smith, however, is going to throw quick over the middle and a quick completion going to be good enough for a first down caught by Dwight Blake. Junior Lord Sisler on the broadcast. Third and three for Smith and the Bears. He goes back shoulder intended for Winningham. And it falls incomplete for Hayden Ray to get the Bears on the board from 30 yards out. Kick up and good. So the first points of the night for Central Arkansas. We saw a snap go over Deeds' head. And that one low. And again, the snap, the issue. Deeds tries to pick it up. And the second miscue on special teams for the punting unit for Austin P. Tackled by Dwight Blakey. And the Central Arkansas Bears now great field position. 
Smith steps up on the pocket. He is brought down immediately by Matthew Gale. Kick up and good for Ray. Something done here, the two minute drill before the half. Oats fall. Pressured. Able to get out of it and just pushes it forward. What an effort finds Benico Harley. And Harley off to the races just off the other side at the 50 yard line. That is the athleticism of Jeremiah Oatball in a nutshell. And great timing on the blitz. You got a free run at the quarterback there, and somehow Oatsball Houdini's his way out of the situation and then makes the freak show pitch to Benico Harley. A great run after the catch receiver in normal circumstances, and oh, given the safety precautions needed in the game. Thought it was a good looking hit. Bryant Sneed. Oatsball falls and fumbles it on the pitch as he looks to pitch it to Sneed. And Oates falls still down on the ground as he comes up a little limpy on his right ankle. But able to get off the field now, Braylon Smith and the Bears look to take advantage. Rolls to his left, throws across his body, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Nathan Page. It was 0-0, I would take it, just to have college football back on my screen. Grant Paulette kicks it off. Christian Richmond there to receive the ball at the five-yard line. And Richmond has his seam up the middle. Takes it to the left side and a good start to the second half for the Bears. And be able to stay on top of things. Lauren, thank you. Good field possession for Braylon Smith. They give up the middle to Kier Crossley. A good bounce outside for Crossley. Is Crossley a big run on first down? Early momentum for Central Arkansas. Good kick return and then a good run there out of Crossley. Gain of 17. So, second and five already in Central Arkansas territory. Again, Crossley right up the middle and Crossley into the end zone. Touchdown Central Arkansas. That's how you start the second half. Kier Crossley. 34 yards. Cornell and Columbia. He is smarter than both you and I. Oh, Aaron pitch to Crossley. Ball still on the turf. And Austin P has recovered. Kobe Perry takes advantage of the miscommunication as Central Arkansas just had a drive move. Lead going into the first half, or Austin P rather, Central Arkansas grabs it back as Oatsball fires deep ball position, calling for a flag, and Jordan Pollard doesn't get it. They are in college football, new normal, and that's what we're going to deal with all of 2020, but the fact that they're out here playing is a big third and 11, as Smith again has to step up to the pocket, and he's going to keep it himself, tackled by a host of Governor's defenders. It's going to bring up fourth down. Harley Fair catches that at the 12-yard line. It's season in 2020. Third and six for Oates Ball. Quick hitter drop and incomplete by Vincent Taylor. Now it's been conservative for both teams. There's a quick play fake and a quick completion. Helmet comes off. Garrett Barnes, the receiver, and easy flags there for the official. Throw Vassal on the tackle. These runs. You know their head coach Nathan Brown and play caller Ken Collins. They don't want a field goal, they want six to extend this lead to two possessions. Smith over the middle, caught and then dropped by Tyler Hudson. Two for two in his field goal attempts tonight. 32 yarder, kick is up and true. For themselves in a way that's paid off huge for them. See if Oates Ball has some fourth quarter magic on it, goes deep on first down. Has a receiver caught. Jay Parker, big play, move the change. Here come the governors. Asking you shall receive, stepping up and getting the ball. And Jim Parker, there are plenty of bodies in the vicinity. In the backfield, fourth and four for the governors. Oates Ball to pass, up top, incomplete, flag on the play. Pollard had it fall into his chest, defended by Stephen Mackey, and that is going to give Austin P a first and goal. Twice. 
Oates falls the keeper. Oates falls dives across the end zone and ties the game for Austin P. Carry. Snap paramount. Kick is up. Snap is good. Kick is good. Smith escapes the pocket. Quick give to Kier. Crossley who's had a big night. Crossley able to shake a couple of defenders and get out of bounds. Now to preserve the two timeouts. So a first down for Central Arkansas to get it. Smith again. He's pressured. And a great catch out of Hudson. Smith keeping the play alive with his feet, able to find Hudson. Pressure comes. Smith looks left, throws left, up top. What a catch by Tyler Hudson. Thread the needle. Nathan Page is going to hear this whiz over his right shoulder directly into the waiting arms of Tyler Hudson. Smith going to go to the end zone. Smith has winning him. Touchdown, Bears. We've waited for the star receiver to make a play. And he made the biggest one of the night. So they will attempt the two-point conversion. Braylon Smith rolls out. And it's good. Sam Camargo is for a quarterback 365 days a year live to play another down Oats fall over the middle and is caught immediately by Eugene Mitter big play first down will stop the clock Oats fall again over the middle that pass tips and it falls incomplete again intended for Mitter this is the game for Austin P. Designed run for Jeremiah Oatsball. What a play call by Tim Zett. Now that gives you an opportunity. Two seconds left. Chuck one in the end zone. You have a look now. Oatsball. He's going to throw it. Going to come up short. It's going to be intercepted by Central Arkansas. And that will do it. The Central Arkansas Bears have beaten Austin P 24-17.